to a record thrashing of Australia by the Black Ferns in the Canadian final of the World Rugby Series. 46 zip, the highest ever score against Australia by New Zealand, the highest ever winning margin against Australia, and the greatest number of tries against Australia by the New Zealand women's sevens team, eight. Remember, this is the Australian team who beat the Black Ferns for gold at the Rio Olympics, and in recent years, the competition between New Zealand and Australia has usually been intense and often very close, but not this morning. After the game, we spoke to Black Ferns skipper Sarah Goss, whose work rate, even by her own high standards, was heart-burstingly full-on. 46-0, I said to her in tones of stunned amazement. I, I know, I just can't believe it, the way that the girls came out firing from the first whistle. And, and it was cool, that's what we talked about before the game, that we knew if we could um, get up a couple of tries, then it was going to be our game to play with. So um, it was amazing. Yeah, never a true word spoken. You got up eight tries. <laughs> yeah, it was oh, the amount of girls, the, the amount of effort that the girls put in um, in the preparations and to, I suppose, um, come close in, in games like the quarterfinal and the semi and into blow away that final was uh, totally amazing. Yes, and it's amazing in the context of the fact that it was Australia playing. This is the team that beat you at Rio for gold at the Olympics, of course. They beat you by 31 points in Sydney in January. But since then, you won gold at the Commonwealth Games and the Aussies were playing at home and you beat them well. And now 46 points over them in Canada. What's changed? Oh, for us, we've, we've connected so much better. Um, like we, we call each other sisters, and that's what our team's about at the moment. We're um, a huge family, and to be able to spend time together from we spend a whole month together at Com Games in Kita Kishu, um, and that's just taken our game to another level. And, and obviously now in Canada, it's only a couple of weeks later, um, we just keep growing and growing, and, and that's what happens when you enjoy what you do and everyone uh, wants the same goal. And you're professionals now, which, as you should be, of course, which must make such a difference because unlike all the women who've come before you, you can play rugby full-time without worrying about how you're going to pay the bills. Yeah, I don't know how people do it without it um, and without being professional. Like, it, it, it's our lives. Rugby is what we do and, and what we uh, really want to do. So most of us spend seven days a week thinking about rugby, yeah. training rugby, um, but it's what we love. Like we, We're friends off the pitch as well, and that's what makes our team really special. Yeah, it does. And, and everyone says that. Every time I talk to a, a member of your team, that's exactly what they tell me. Can we talk about you being uh, a young rugby player at Fielding High? Did you ever dream that you would be going to the Olympics, <laughs> to the Commonwealth Games, to the World Series in Canada, Paris next, and if you win that, you are the World <laughs> Series champs? Did you ever think that this would happen? Oh, I didn't, like You always dream about it, but until it happens, you, you still pinch yourself. I, I walk around these amazing hotels um, <laughs> next to my sisters, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, I come from a little small town that lived in the country, didn't have um, two dimes thrown together, but to be travelling the world doing something that I absolutely love, um, it, I couldn't have scripted my, I suppose, life to being any better. Yeah, well, uh, everything rides on Paris now. How exciting is that? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. We've never been to Paris as a team, and um, obviously we've heard a lot about it. And we can't, Actually, I can't wait to first get home and do some recovery and spend a bit of time with family because it's been quite limited the last couple of months. So we'll do that and then reconnect before we head to Paris. Yes, you've been away an enormous amount. You started, I'm not getting this wrong, am I? You started all five games at the, at the Rugby World Cup, which for people listening who don't know about this is a 15s tournament. So you've been away a lot and playing an enormous amount of rugby. Yeah, it, it's been great, though. Um, I'd rather be playing than training, to be honest. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed it. Um, and both tours, whether you're 15s or 7s, it's, it's amazing and everyone has heaps and heaps of fun. Well, you do your team and your country proud, and yourself. Sarah, thank you. It's so nice to talk to you, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for ringing.